Well, hello YouTube friends. Come aboard. As you can see, I'm in my kayak and I thought I'd take you along with me today. So find you a seat, sit back and enjoy the ride. I'm going to paddle around the backwaters here on the Tennessee River. And we're going to be paddling around on what is called Roseberry Creek. in the distance there across the water you'll see uh, a ridge right this side of the Tennessee River and then on the far side there is what's called Sand Mountain. And where we are right now is back in a small harbor here. There's boat houses on the right over here. Let me turn over. We have a boat house on the right where small boats are stored. Let me turn back the other way. And over here is a dock area and a campground, as you, you can see on the point down there. Some campers pulled in here for the Labor Day weekend. And it looks like somebody's been out tubing there today. You can see a nice runabout there with some tubes on the back. People put those that things down in the water behind a rope and just uh, just ride all over the river. As around the corner here, you'll see a bigger boat house with several houseboats down in it. Most of these are uh, older houseboats. Turned around here looking up uh, up creek and if you look real close there off that point you'll see two cooling towers protruding up out of the horizon and that is Belfont Nuclear Plant. It's a plant that was started by Tennessee Valley Authority in, back in the 1970s and it's been mothballed for about uh, I guess 15-20 years now. Still has not produced the first uh, watt of power. Straight ahead out there to Sand Mountain, you'll have a little better view of the bluff. You should be able to see maybe a, a rock bluff line there at the, right under the horizon. And all the little white specks are bluff houses, houses that have been built along that bluff area. Uh, the elevation here where I'm sitting is about 600 feet above sea level. If you go to top, the top of that mountain, uh, the elevation goes up about 1,400 feet. And you get up there and it's just one big plateau. It's not a, a peaked mountain. It just goes up from the river valley and makes a, about a 30 or 40 mile wide uh, plateau called Sand Mountain. And you get a look here of a bass boat streaming by. We have a lot of good bass fishing on this lake back in this creek. 
black bass around this area and run about. Uh, the big ones run uh, maybe 12 pounds, 13 pounds. Very good crappie fishing, cat fishing, brim fishing. And I'm going down beside a big houseboat here, kind of in the shade. You can see the boat off to the right there. And again, another big dock in front of me. That's where most of the more expensive houseboats are. There's some boats over there that'll go, I guess, $200,000 price wise. around the corner of this dock and go back up through this area toward a small restaurant that's here. And uh, there's a bunch of older boats sitting along this dock. You'll see an old sailboat here and a bunch of home-built houseboats and some pretty ragged old houseboats. Up the far end there you see a little restaurant here on the water. It's called Jackson County Park where I'm paddling in this marina. There's three, uh, three different uh, storage buildings, marina buildings here, dock area, uh, four counting the dock area there on the left. Let me show you some of the old boats here on the left. There's two sailboats. I guess there's three sailboats in here, one without a mast. One there that you see it has the mast uh, taken down and laid across the boat and there's one there with the mast up. Sailing is not real big in this area because of the shallow water. Uh, the water we're sitting in right now is about maybe five, six feet deep. Out in the deeper parts in the creek here it might be 12, 14 feet. It's not very wide so very little large boat sailing goes on in this area. call shanty boats in here. People come down and some people live on them, some people come down and spend the weekend or the holidays on them. Some of them are pretty rough shape. Everybody loves to be on the water though, no matter no matter what. And I'll make a turn down here. Still in the harbor of course turn and go back out the same way it came in. And you'll get a good uh, good view of the little restaurant there and some, some uh, pampa, pampas grass growing up on the bank. Of course this is all fresh water in here. We're a long way. We're about 400 miles from any salt water. And you'll see an old home built houseboat here. And some older boats. Turning to go back out toward the river, out toward the creek. Probably hear my paddles in the water. Late in the afternoon, it's about 4:30 or 5 o'clock. So you notice the shadows. Lighting is uh, pretty good. Clear day here. A few clouds around, but uh, no rain around. <clears throat> you see a few little waves coming in here from that bass boat that passed. The camera will rock around some. Yeah, it's about 90 degrees right now. Still quite warm here in August. Even late in the afternoon. people back there on the boat with a big screen sitting on the deck and they're watching college football. College football here in the United States started this weekend. A lot of fans of college teams. There are several teams playing this afternoon. They normally play on Saturday, Saturday night, Saturday afternoon. A lot of people like to watch ball here in our state in Alabama. The two main teams are the University of Alabama Crimson Tide. Everybody's heard of Bear Bryant used to be their coach. And uh, Auburn University is the other big university in the state. Real big uh, football rivalry between those two teams. 
And you can see the, the big dock over there. A small boat coming in out here. We'll turn around so you can see this little runabout coming in. Probably coming in to get gasoline or maybe, maybe wanting a hamburger for supper, something like that. Who knows? well you could hear all that because they had the camera pointed away from me and the microphone pointed away from me you may not have heard any of it so if you didn't you'll just have to enjoy the scenery didn't want to hear me talking anyway I guess <laughs> <laughs> 